the forehead of your robot. Ever since my previous attempts at horror stories in the past, I felt that I was finally freed from this chain of torture. But I soon found out that I was wrong. I'm explaining this because of something that I had discovered. Something, rarely evil. It all started when my family and I went out for a Sunday drive across the country. We had been on the road for a few minutes, and we decided to stop at a local picnic area for a break, before we headed home for the afternoon. That was when I first discovered it, the thing that still haunts me to this day. At the picnic area where I was looking over the most beautiful lake I have ever seen. I soon noticed something among a corner of rocks, where the lake streamed forward. I approached the rocky corner, and saw something that has always been part of my nostalgic souvenirs, a VHS, video home system. I was so excited when I found this. I picked it up and examined it. It was like the other videos that I collected, but it was different as well. This VHS was covered in bits of blood, which both confused me and made me cringe. I looked at the label on the side. The label read, Happy's Garden, all about nature, and it was written in the most unfamiliar handwriting that I have ever seen. Almost like it was written by someone with strange but neat handwriting. I was a bit confused. How would a VHS with child-friendly content have a little amount of blood over it? I asked myself. I decided to take it home with me so I could examine it more. When I showed the VHS to my parents, they were glad that I managed to find something rare, but they were also disgusted by the bits of blood covering the tape. And on the way home, I was looking at the VHS, and wondered if it would still work in my VCR, if it has blood on it. When we got home, my parents had to go out to get some errands done, and my brother went to go play Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I decided to check out my new VHS. So I went into the guest room where the VCR was held. I turned both the TV and the VCR on, and once that was done, I put the bit of blood-covered VHS into the VCR, and began to watch it. As the VHS began, a splatter of TV static was the first thing I saw, then a quick clip of an Australian rules football tournament, and then a quick clip of a sitcom, featuring a businessman and his wife, talking about something that involved chicken burgers. It then showed me a logo for a TV film studio, that I hadn't seen before. The logo read, Bright Lanes Entertainment. I knew that this was going to be something interesting, or so I thought. The opening to Happy's Garden began, which shown an animated version of a character named Happy, and some animated children, all of them were singing and dancing around the garden, which had animated singing and dancing plants, who were singing along with Happy's theme song. And just as the song ended, I soon saw the title, Happy's Garden, and below it was the same title, that was on the label of the VHS, all about nature. I was about to begin the biggest, and maybe scariest, moment of my life. After the opening theme song, I soon saw a live-action version of Happy, who appears to be tending his garden, when he notices the audience. He smiles at the camera and says, Hi kids, welcome to my garden, and today we are sure gonna have a lot of fun. Because we are going to learn all about nature. I soon heard children cheering off screen, as Happy laughed wildly. This seems okay to me, I thought to myself. But I was still cringing over the bits of blood that covered the tape. I knew something bad was about to happen soon. Now then kids. Happy then continued, as the children stopped cheering for Happy to speak. The first thing that you need to know when you're in nature, is how to take care of it. Just follow my lead. Happy then demonstrated how to plant a flower using seeds, dirt and water. But then I saw something that I hadn't noticed before. There was a burned head of a corpse behind a rose, while Happy was explaining how to plant the flower. I started to wonder how it got there, until a stagehand quickly took the head away, before Happy was finished with his planting explanation. And the final thing we have to do now, is wait until this seed grows into a beautiful flower. Happy said, as he finishes his planting explanation. He then stands up to face the camera and says, while we wait, how about we go somewhere where we can see more plants being planted? The off-screen children cheer in excitement, as Happy smiles in appreciation. 
Then let's go. Happy said as he then walked off screen. I then saw the stagehand holding the bird's head, but then moves out of the way when he notices the camera. That was weird, but almost terrifying, I thought to myself, but I continued watching the rest of the tape. The screen then transitioned, in a cartoonish way, to a different location. It was located somewhere in a plant factory, where a bunch of plants were being created. Happy then walked back on screen, and turned to face the camera, and smiled. Here we are at my plant factory. This is where most plants that I grow in my garden are created from the seeds I recently found from most plant shops into fully grown plants. Happy said, as he showed the person watching, meaning only me, the plant factory and how the people there made plants from planting seeds. I thought that this was a pretty useless explanation. I mean, he did show how to plant the flowers, but does he really need a factory to help him with the easiest thing to do in life? This question still confuses me to this day. As Happy's factory explanation was still going on, I could see that the tape was going berserk, because of the short white lines appearing over the screen. At first, I thought that the tape was filthy, so I took it out of the VCR, stopping the show, and began blowing on the metallic-like tape strip to dust off the tape. I think some of the blood on it got on my fingers as well. After cleaning it, I then put the VHS back in the VCR, and continued to watch it. It continued normally with the tour of Happy's plant factory. Soon, just as the camera cut to a poster featuring Happy, and a few children planting, the screen then went berserk a bit more, and it then showed something that freaked me out. It was a quick cut of Happy bashing one of the children's head with a shovel, as blood started spewing out of the child's head. But after the screen went berserk again, the post returned to normal. I could not believe what I just saw, so I decided to rewind to the exact spot where I saw the quick jump scare. When I got there, I saw the quick jump scare again for a split second, but I was lucky enough to pause it. I examined it with a bit of cringe and disgust in me, and I thought to myself, how the hell did they manage to get away with this one? I shrugged it off, and continued the tape as normal, so that I could further examine it. As the tour of the plant factory ended, the screen then transitioned back to Happy's garden. Happy walked back onto the screen, and turned to smile at the camera once again. Well now, wasn't that a great tour of my plant factory children? He asked. Yes, Happy. The off-screen children said all together. Happy smiled, and turned to see that his flower has grown perfectly. He smiles in appreciation, and turns back to the camera. And will you look at that? My flower has taken its time to grow, and now looks pretty and happy. He continued saying. But don't go away just yet, children, because we still have a lot of fantastic things to learn about nature today. Just follow my lead and you will see how great gardening can be. Happy then smiled as the off-screen children cheered again. But then, in a split second of the tape, I saw another grisly image. As the screen went berserk again, I saw Happy holding a knife and covered in blood. He is still smiling, but now with a hint of evil in his eyes. I also heard the sounds of the off-screen children screaming and crying, no longer cheering happily. I could not believe what I was watching here. I didn't even took the chance to watch the rest of the tape, as I had a fear of experiencing more frightening ways of happy. So I stopped the tape and took it out of the VCR. I then sighed in relief as I was now safe from happy. And at the same time, my parents came home. I quickly approached them, and explained to them the tape that I discovered during out Sunday drive. I showed them the tape, and they believed me. We then decided to call the police about this tape, and they told us all about it. From what I could remember from the police officer's speech, he said that Bright Lane's entertainment used to work for Adult Swim, while also producing a few shows for kids. Until a misunderstanding occurred, when Bright Lane's combined their horror elements from their Adult Swim shows into their children's content. The Happy's Garden episode that I watched, was the only thing that they had shown on TV before their shutdown. It was also a pilot episode, which didn't go anywhere since the kids test audiences were frightened by it, and afterwards, Bright Lane's entertainment shut down. 
They then explained that somebody must have recorded the episode, get it by the rocks near the lake at the picnic area where I found it, and then killed themselves, after viewing such a creepy disturbance, which might explain the bits of blood on the tape. They also said that the guy, who played Happy in that episode, was a serial killer who tried to reform after a few years in jail. Bright Lanes Entertainment actually hired someone dangerous as a children's TV character. I was instantly freaked out by this. The police then agreed to take the Happy's garden tape away from us, and burn it before anyone else could get their hands on it, and experience the same fate as I, and that other person who recorded it did. Although I am now safe from that evil psychopath Happy, I am still haunted by the memories of that tape, along with my other horror story experiences, shall remain in the back of my mind, forever.